Today I'm bringing you six new products from the drugstore that have really impressed me. Some of them I've been using for a, a little over a month now. Some of them have come into my life very, very recently because they've just been released, such as the e.l.f. product that I'm going to talk about at the very end of the video. But I did achieve this look with mostly those drugstore products. All the products that I did use on my face though today, those will be listed and linked below. But two of the products that I used that were separate from what are actually in this video that are high-end are the Natasha Denona Concealer, their new one. I absolutely love it. And the new Too Faced Bronzer in the fairest color. This is an amazing bronzer. It gives you a beautiful bronzy look without looking too, too orange. And it's what I used across my eyes too, other than what you're going to see in today's video. I'm very excited to try those products on for you and tell you what my experience is with those. But before we do, I always share with you what I have on for a top. And today I have on this very lightweight spring sweater kind of has a bat wing sleeve right here. I love these sleeves on this. The crochet on this is so beautiful. The gather that's right in the middle really is flattering and just lovely. It comes in quite a few different colors and I just think it's so pretty. And of course, all of the jewelry that I have on, including the watch, the earrings, the nails, the press on nails that I have on today, you will be able to find all of that listed and linked below, including this beautiful sweater. All right, we're going to get into this. I'm going to be bare faced and we're going to start from primer and we're going to go clear through to setting spray. So I hope you enjoyed these six products that I'm absolutely over the moon impressed with and I'm really enjoying using and I think they're going to be pretty much staples in my routine from now on. Let's get into it. What I love about the NYX blur screen with an SPF of 30 primer is how hydrating it is because I have very, very dry skin and also I love the glow. Now you can see from my skincare that I have a pretty good glow going on, but this blurs and gives a glow at the same time. And I think that that is just the absolute beauty of it. Now I will say for all of my gals that do not like any sort of a fragrance, this one does have like a banana fragrance in it. Don't ask me why they do fragrance so much, but if you have a sensitivity to that, I just want you to be aware of that. But look how pretty your skin looks after you put this on. It just blurs out your skin. It sinks in so nicely into those pores. And when you put your foundation on, you're really going to notice a difference. You get to skip three steps with this. We get to skip moisturizer and then sunscreen and then primer and we get it all in one. And I love that about this. I love the way my skin looks after I put it on, how moisturized it feels and how beautiful it lays underneath my makeup without pilling or balling up on me at all. This is amazing. I didn't think anything was ever going to be able to compete with my beloved Pixie corrector that I wear all the time, but I recently got the Focalore Full Cover Concealer. Now this isn't a concealer, this is truly a corrector. And especially if you're anybody from a very fair all the way up to medium skin tone. I'm sure they have other colors. This one is in the color 05. This is the perfect peach. Now I know because of the lights here, you're not gonna be able to see as well, but my dark circles are so bad. They're inherited. There's nothing I can do about them. They're not from allergies. They're not from my skin thinning. I've had them my whole life, but using this immediately just takes down that discoloration. Now it's not too emotional it's not too drying. I feel like it's just the beautiful sweet spot right in between and really have been enjoying this. Now you can put this on any dark spot you may have. I do have an extra dark spot right there in the hollow of that dark circle. So putting that there really disguises that as well. Now this is going to add an added layer. So I want you to be very strategic about using it and I want you to use it in a very thin coat. But this is so good about covering. I want you to just pick up a little bit and dab. I don't want you to to swipe or anything like that, we're just dabbing. So this saves a day for me and I'm excited to be using it. Bigger pot than the Pixie as well and costs less. Love that. Now, the more I use the new Maybelline Eraser Treatment Makeup, the more I like it. It's like a skin tint and a foundation rolled into one, so it's like that right in between. And I didn't think that I was going to like it as much as I do because usually these ones that come like this, I have a hard time with. But after using the corrector that I was just showing you and I apply it, with a brush like I'm doing. That gives a little bit better coverage as far as your foundation goes. But also I have been really surprised at how well 
it does cover everything. I also really do love the thought that this is a treatment makeup, a makeup that you can wear and you get great benefits from. This says that it has goji berry and collagen in it has a broad spectrum SPF of 18 and my color is in 120. I think if you're looking for something that is light to medium coverage, sort of buildable, not really super buildable, but it doesn't look bad with extra coats on there. You're going to really enjoy this one. Now from Makeup Revolution, I haven't shown this in a, this brand in a long time. I kind of have shied away from them because I really haven't been enjoying very many of their things but I'm enjoying this. This is called Bubble Balm, and I don't know if you can see the texture in there or not, but they have taken like a bone-like texture for their highlighter, and they've taken small spheres or small pearl-looking spheres, and then they have put that into the balm, and this is a really pretty product. I'm really excited about this. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go a little bit ham on this. I'm using the 107 brush. By the way, the one that I put the foundation on with was from BK Beauty. It's the 103 buffing foundation brush which I really like so I'm going to use this one just for this highlighter and just swirl it all across the product here very pretty and just putting it on top of my blush you know that I'm somebody that likes to put it under my blush but for this demonstration we are going to go right on top now the glow that this gives this isn't high beam highlighter at all it's just this beautiful basic glow to your skin that makes you look more youthful and it's not going to dry you out either because it's set into this balm like product so this is really really pretty use it also to highlight the top of your cupid's bow whatever you choose to do also if you'd like to you could use this across your eyelid just to bring a little bit of glow and a little bit of light to that eyelid so beautiful to use strategically anywhere you'd like to have a little bit added highlighter glow. Then I just did my eyelash curler and I want to tell you that the new e.l.f. lash extender, I talked about this in my mascaras video re really recently, but I wanted to showcase it in a video like this. This is a tubing mascara from e.l.f. and of course Thrive is the one that kind of started it all into the tubing mascaras, but this is a beautiful mascara that I have been loving. This lifts and separates each lash and it lasts all day long. It's going to make your lashes look extra long. It does have a silicone bris bristle brush, not a natural bristle brush, but I find that the way that this comes off in the evening is so slick and so easy, and I think that's why I'm loving it so much. Also, I really like the way that this grips every teeny little lash. Whoops, I just poked myself. Every teeny little lash that you have on the bottom as well. So you can go all the way in and all the way out and you're gonna get your best lashes on the bottom too. I find that I take extra time with my lashes. Mascara is one of the makeup things that I enjoy the most. But with this mascara, one coat really makes a change. So if you're somebody that's in a hurry, you just want one and done, this is a great one for you. Also, it can be built on, although I would probably suggest that you only do one coat, but but it's really a pretty mascara and I've been really enjoying it. And then lastly, we go ahead and we put on our powder. This isn't part of the video today, but if you haven't tried the LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder, I am so impressed with this powder, no pun intended. And I just really have been enjoying how beautifully it blurs out my skin. This is 100% in my personal opinion, a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter pressed powder that she has really, really close. But if you're somebody that has dry skin, or let's say you're just a mature skin gal that has wrinkles, like we all do as we age, we don't want the drying look of powder, but we still need powder, especially if you have menopause hot flashes, or if you just get hot during the day, if you live in a hot climate, that type of thing. Then if you're somebody like me, that you put powder on and you live in a dry climate anyway, well, guess what happens? We get even drier. I had my personal fan on this whole time while I was filming and I didn't realize it. I'm sorry about that noise. That had to be distracting. Anyway, the last product that I'm gonna tell you about is the brand new Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray from e.l.f. And my goodness, we dry skin gals have found a winner. You wanna make sure that you really shake this up well because because it does have the oils that need shaken in there together. It does hold your makeup on so well, but it's very, very dewy. And guess what? Elf finally got it right. 
they have this beautiful, beautiful, light, airy mist on it, and I am so excited. I'm quite generous with this. It comes out in such a beautiful mist. I don't even know if I can tell you how fine the mist is really without being, without experiencing it yourself, but it's really nice, and this spray is really nice. It will set down your makeup. It will melt with any powders that you've used and you will have a very dewy look on your face. And I'm so excited about this one. And of course, Milk Makeup is the one that came out with the Grip Setting Spray and the Grip Primer. Elf did a really good job on giving us an alternative that's more affordable. So there they are. That is my six products. I hope that you did enjoy seeing these today. Again, please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel or if you haven't done that already. And please smash the like button on your way out of here. If there are any new products at the drugstore that you are loving, I would love to hear that from you down in the comments section. We always love to chat about those kinds of things. I hope that you enjoyed today's video enough to come back and see me in my next video. Everyone take care of yourself, stay happy, stay healthy. I love you much. Bye-bye.